It's far more than what you got. Considering I don't even do the pool, that's not very hard. Four's halfway. You only need eight for the jackpot. Ever heard of the saying, a miss is as good as a mile? And have you ever heard the saying, a button it? Mercy, not me. look offside to me on telly, A perfect goal by the telly. Don't you start. Yeah. All set for operation, Harriet Boyce? Yep. Yeah. Yeah, I don't know why, but I'm nervous. You're nervous? <laughs> Well, what about poor Harriet coming into this place? Oh, yeah. Charlie. Well, didn't you tell her we missed the last two? We had to walk. Yes. But she didn't believe me. Well, what did she believe then? You know, she didn't spell it out. Your mum's got a nasty suspicious mind, you mean, especially where I'm concerned. Thanks. Not you in particular. Anyone. Well, who else she going out with? No one. What did you take me for? Well, then it's me she doesn't like. It's obvious. She never said she dislikes you, so what gives you that idea? Well, the way she looks at me. The way she never makes me feel very welcome when I come round. Yeah, but I've never noticed. Ain't you? Yeah. Well, I have. Oh, no, not again. Come on, I want out. <laughs> <laughs> Don't worry, Harriet. Don't worry. 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 Blimey, Vince. This side that might not be noticed outside, but it sure does sharp in here. Might need dark glasses when we're finished. Oh, no! My trainer! What are you doing? My trainer. That'll never come off. Oh, brilliant, Ollo. Yeah, well, watch where you're walking in the playground. Have that trailer out and leave the old school here. Can't go out there like this. I've got to do something. Only one thing you can do, isn't there? Eh? Hey? Yeah, but ten minutes is an awful long time to have to talk about one thing, sir. I don't know if I can keep it up. You could have fooled me. It's part of the examination now, Louise. You have to do it. You do oral work when you do foreign languages, don't you? Yeah, well, why should it be so difficult in your own language? And on a subject you yourself have chosen. If it interests you, you should be able to interest us. Don't bet on it. Yeah, talking of oral stuff, she told you his idea. What I did? School radio. No. What do you mean? Brilliant. Come on, tell him. There's this hospital radio gear I can lay my hands on. How much? For free. For chucking it out and getting new stuff. How did you think we could use it? Well, we could make our own programmes. Broadcast bulletins, music, news and sports reports. You know, that kind of thing. Yeah, a few programmes. Talking about major books and television. Even interviewing celebrities. We could do our own plays. Hang on, hang on. Let's not get carried away with ourselves, eh? It all sounds very interesting, but is it feasible? That's the first thing to find out. I think it is. Oh, well, you would, Danny. It's your idea. But will Mrs. McCluskey and Mr. Bronson? That's another matter. Please, Miss, can I have a word with you? Mr. Regina. I don't think I'll be able to make netball practice after school. Why not? I've sprained my ankle. Have you? Let me have a look. It isn't swollen or anything, but I can't run on it. Hmm. All right, then. I'll take your place. And you can umpire for us. I'm sure you'll manage that. Yes. And you'll still have plenty of time to see Anthony Jones afterwards. Go on. Yes. I know love hurts, but I didn't think it was crippling. So what do you think, sir? Well, I can't say I'm not interested. I'm certainly different, I give you that. But it will need a lot of thinking about. You can't wait too long or the stuff will be gone. What do you think, Liz? Well, it might be a bit of a nightmare. I feel stupid. Yeah, what else could you do? At least they're both the same colour. Yeah, ridiculous. Uh, like it. <laughs> Liverpool trainers. <laughs> Where'd you get them? Well, I was from lunchtime. Blimey, I don't know. Try a pair of trainers that colour. I'll make sure they was locked away out of sight. You know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> Ten minutes late again. No sign of a Mel Davis yet. It's not like people avoiding me, Helen. I haven't been avoiding you, Mel. I've been busy now. Get off. I've got stars to go to. No, yeah, I know. You're going tomorrow. No, I'm not. Yes, you are. Melda? New recruit, sir. 
friend of mine, but sorry, sir, she pushed me. Go on, back to your own class. Get to your seat, Imelda. No! You're staying here! No, I'm not! Tell her, sir. Imelda, let her go. No, let her go, Davis. Who do you think you're talking to? We're fed up with you carrying on. I don't care. Now come over here, Imelda, will you? All of you, gather round. I want you to see this pulley system I've built. It's quite complicated, so I want you to think carefully. Which way do you think each pulley goes when I pull this string? Does it go clockwise or anti-clockwise? Anti-clockwise. Well, try and work it out before I operate it. And I want you to make some drawings and jot down what you decide to see if you're right. OK, I'll give you ten minutes. Here, Rob. Could you lend me a pal, mate? What for? Oh, Scotty, I think you should pay him back. Yeah, and when would you pay me back? I don't know. But you trust me, don't you, Rob? I ain't got a pal. Hey, Vince, I'm saving for a new tie. Are oh, you? Yeah? Well, what if I get you one? Could you lend me a pound? And where are you going to get me one from? I don't know. That's my problem, all right? I promise you one back tomorrow. If I lend you a pound, which you're going to give me back? In other words, tie's going to cost me nothing. Yeah, I said that. I'd better get it back, Bruce. Thanks, mate. You should have given it to me. Hey, sir. Here's the pound that I owe you. Told you, got you, didn't I? Thank you, Eric. Sweet. Allumet. Allumet. Hello, mate. Do you have a match? Avez-vous une allumet? Oh, if you want one that bad, I'll put one in the shop's room. Spell étranger. E acute T R A N G E R. Again. E acute T R A N G E R. Correct. And is that an acute above the E? No, sir. No, sir. What is it? It's a grave. A grave, sir. Yet you know perfectly well it should be an acute. Why is it not? Don't. Don't. No, sir. Then I will tell you. Carelessness. Slapdash work. Oh, blimey, there must be something in this handbook about the GBH of the hero. Better from the daughter of one of our school governors. Go get out of You're right. Etranger, neatly, two hundred times. Yes, Kendall. Stop right there, boy. Kendall, I'm warning you, I do not intend to chase after you as I did last year. Going. All right, thanks. I've got last year's notes on that if you want them. Have you? Yeah. Will I bring them in? Yeah, if you want them, mine. Oh, right, I'll bring them in tomorrow then. Oh, thanks, Jack. What's the matter? I don't know. I just can't be bothered with all this. Oh, you've only got a few more weeks of it, Faye. Then it'll all be over. Will it? Look, even if I do pass these resets. I've still got to catch up with you lot. If I fail. You won't fail. You shouldn't have failed last time. If I can pass and play, you can. And you, Sam. Mind if we come in? See, there's plenty of room in here. They don't all have to use it at once. Oh, they would come in now, wouldn't they? It's half empty. We've got to crack it, Rob. We've just got to, you know. So when's this tie coming in? Any time now, Vince. I'm working on it. Yeah, you better be. Where are you going to get him a tie from, is it? I don't know, yeah. Oh, hey, whose is that one? Can't take that. It belongs to someone. Whose? Looks as though it's been left behind to me. 
It still belongs to someone. Shut up. If no one claims in the next two seconds, it's mine, all right? One, two. No claimers, right. Z. Yeah, pal. Where'd you get this, then? Spare one of mine. You can have it. You mean you nicked it? No, I haven't. Have I? No. Are you sure? Look, will you take it before I change my mind? Living with our auntie is completely different from living with our dad. Well, for one thing, she's always there. Whereas he was always at work. Until he got the illness, that is. And, well, we can always tell her our problems. The way we couldn't with him. You see, he didn't understand half the time, but she does. She seems to know what we're talking about. Bronson won't let you off with it, you know? Well, although she's got her own children. Do you think you were playing her? She's all the same. Well, his dad did tend to side with Cheryl a bit. <coughs> well, they wouldn't admit it, of course. Anyway, where'd you go? Ready? Sorry, sir. Ten minutes up, Louise. You should be thinking of rounding it off now. Yes, sir. Nearly finished. So, as I said, living with Auntie is much better in a whole lot of ways. Well, she can cook, she can sew, and she can listen. She can cope with all sorts of things that poor Dad couldn't. And if only she could be him, well, things would just be perfect. Oh. Wasn't that hard after all, was it, Louise? Well, what can I say? Lovely ending, good build-up, and then the unexpected. Full marks. Thank you, sir. <laughs> Quite a speech to follow. Who shall we have next, then? How about you, Mr. Kendall? What would you like to talk to us about? Try you ask someone else. No, no, come on. You'll do. Up you get. What's it to be, then? New York street artists. New York street artists? You mean the graffiti on the underground and things? If that's what you want to call it, I call it art. Fair enough. Go on then, tell us all about it. Well, this sort of art appears all over places in cities like New York. What are you doing? OK, who's got it? Who's nicked my tie? Don't look at me, cos I haven't seen it. Well, someone has it. It's on this table. What's wrong now, I'm elder? My tie. Now, who'd steal your tie, Imelda? Where did you leave it? Here, and it's gone. Will you all have a look for Imelda's tie, E3? It can't have moved very far. Has it your name on it? No, it's got a spider drawn on the end of the belt. A spider? You all heard that. It's a tie with a spider on what after. And they're all done in paint spray by guys no one knows. Well, some of them are well-known, but I've forgotten their names. And most of them are anonymous. Go on. Well, where was I? Anonymous artists. Yeah. Well, these murals, they're fantastic, like I said. As good as some things that hang in art galleries. At least they looked as good on the telly programme I saw about them. Don't think I can say any more, sir. Thank you, Danny. Interesting subject. But it was only five minutes long. Sorry. That's all I can do. It might be worth doing some more preparation next time, eh, Danny? Sir. Right. Now, who's next? Oh, where are they? I tell them not to be late. You, boys! Get off home. <laughs> well, never learn. <laughs> oh, look, here they come. Mm. Sorry, we're late, Mr. Griffiths. Got a bit old up, you see. Yeah, yeah, step on it. Don't you tell me to step on it. I've been waiting here for ten minutes. Let's go. Come on, Scash. So what do you mean, you're meeting someone? <laughs> well, I am. You who? A boy. What boy? I didn't know you had a boyfriend. Just started. Well, come on, who is it? Freddie Mannerin. Freddie Mannerin. He's a fourth year. Well, what difference does that make? Blimey. Fancy going out of a fourth year, Joe. Well, fancy going out with a teacher. I'm sorry, Faye. Faye! Hey. Sounds very ambitious to me, Mr. Kennedy. It's all very well coming up with schemes like that, but seeing them through is quite a different matter. What do you think of Danny Kendall's radio idea, Craig? What radio idea is this? 
Rigging up a hospital radio in a building for the children to use. Our own community radio station. Really? That sounds interesting. You mean it's a possibility? It's certainly very feasible. Well, I'm all for it. And the children I've spoken to about it are very enthusiastic. Oh, you mean it's all round the school? Oh, I wouldn't say all round. It's only a rumour. I don't think anyone seriously thinks it's going to happen. But why not? It would be a marvellous project. I'm sure the kids would get a great deal from it. And all this would cost us nothing. So he says. I suppose a small donation to the hospital involved might be a nice gesture, but it wouldn't be any great expense. Well, I have a brother up in Scotland works on hospital radio. I've seen round it. It's fascinating. And what about the broadcasting authorities, local police, ambulance and so forth? Wouldn't we be interfering with their transmissions? Oh, no, you see, this kind of system could be wired directly to our existing PA system. Uh, that way we'd be containing it strictly within this building. Well, basically, the same chain of loudspeakers controlled from a central studio. <laughs> Not a chance of interfering with anyone else. Well, I don't know. It does sound very interesting, Mrs. McCluskey, doesn't it? Think of all the different departments it could involve. CDT, science, English, drama. Yes, that's what frightens me. Well, I think it's a wonderful idea. You sounds a lively discussion. Can anyone join in? Good girl, good girl. There you go. Oh. Nice and gentle. Uh, Hold her in the front there, Willie, Helen. I've got ramps in, lads. In we go. Well, thanks for the straw, Mrs. Swift. And the ramps. We'll get those back to you as soon as we can. Oh, no hurry, Mr. Griffith. Yeah. I'm only going to sell them along with everything else. Harriet's the last to go. Uh, sad, isn't it? Still, we'll look after her, won't we, lads, eh? Oh, yes, yes. That's yeah. right, man. Yeah. See you later. Oh, sorry, lads. I'm afraid there's no room for you. I forgot about the junkie. Still. Now, be a couple of good lads, eh? Why don't you jog back here? It's not far. Jog? Yeah, with a couple of footballers. Keep you fit. We'll see you back in the school. Yeah. Oh, that's Bye. a spirit, lads. <laughs> Bye, Mrs. Swift. Bye. Bye. Oh, here again, Jonesy. Can't keep away from the place. I can assure you, Dan, you're not the attraction. I should open up. Don't they let you join? No, I don't think you're allowed to kick it. What are you lot doing there? Going for a coffee in the sixth year block. Want to come? How do you get it? She'll be sixth year, she'll guess him. Yeah, all right then. I suppose George will be a while yet. Can't you find yourself a bird at St. George's? <laughs> you seen her, No. You don't want him, mate. Not bad, is it? School's all right, though. A lot better than this place. And we got a decent football team. Always oh, not so bad this year. Had some good results. We'll have to give them a game then. Especially if it means giving them a thrashing. Oh, yeah. Scored a cracking goal last Saturday, Rob. Into the left. Into the right. Can't give another sword. Yeah, well, I'm going to come off to this weekend, innit? Yeah, went in so fast, the spectators never even saw it neither. Yeah. Uh, yeah, well, it ain't uh, Griffiths, is it? Come on. <laughs> well, no one told us she made that noise, did they? Yeah, well, I'm afraid they do. We'll be back in Cyprus. We ain't. I thought we'd get a move on, Mr. Griffiths. We'll chuck you uh, in the car. Uh, can't you do something to keep her quiet, Ellen? Yeah, we'll be out of a disturbing the peace. No, we better get out of here. Yeah, yeah laughing up. See you later, Harry. Hey, Rob. You'll just be here doing that back at school. It'll be great, won't it? No, it won't, Sig. Not if it gets us found out. Oh, heck, I didn't think of that. Let's go. Look, supposing some of us get together with Kendall and work the whole thing out properly, let you know exactly what would be involved, present it to you in writing, would you consider it? That's a good idea. Then we'll really know if it was feasible. Do you really want to go to all this trouble? Yes, we do. Well, of course, I'll look at anything you care to give me, but I warn you, I'm going to take an awful lot of convincing. Excuse me. Mrs. McCluskey, may I have a word? Someone's left the light on. Come on, Danny, it's only an old store of some sort, isn't it? No, I don't think so. Looks like a sort of stable, doesn't it, Anne? Yeah, funny stable, though. Everything here but a horse. I thought you wanted coffee. Yeah, we're coming. I'm coming for a date with Paula Ron. I know some of the teachers are still here. Well, there's no going back now. See you later, mate. 
Blimey. Just put it in Bronco. Uh oh. Let's go into the playground. Oh no, Reagan's taking that for practice. Yeah, it looks like early retirement for me. Look, can't you distract her attention or something? Yeah, give it a go. Come on. It's only a possibility at this stage, Mr. Bronson. Yes. But we don't want the school turning into Radio One, do we? Good night. You better come quick, Mrs. Reagan. The fighting on the second floor corridor. Yeah, it looked really nasty. Like Terrible. that, I'll come out. Terrible. Look, get on with some shooting practice. I'm just going upstairs. Huh? Ah! Right, how'd you get? Keep a lookout. I'm going to turn the van around. Okay. All right, Gil. All right, Elliot. Down there. You'll be all right, dear. Hey. Nearly there now, mate. Nearly there now. Oh, oh. 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 They've gone. Good. Well, you better make sure the coast is clear. I think you must have heard us. Yeah. We thought we'd better tell you. Yes, I expect you did. Thank you, boys. <laughs> Give it to me! Leave him out! What are you doing? That's not in the rules. Get in the middle. Go. Gone to a lot of trouble. Yeah, and they've done a map of the area. That must be Grange Hill. So what's that other mark for? <laughs> Must be for an animal. Hold on to it, Alice. Hold on to it. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Come on, Alice. Good girl, Alice. Good girl. Oh, shit. Oh, here, Rob. I don't remember leaving the door open. Or the light. Oh, right in. Just getting, just getting. There we are, Harry. You home. Well, then, what do you think? What do you think? So, we made it then. Well, so far so great. Now, I think this calls for a little celebration, right? Yeah. Now, everybody first eat. Yeah, you're not wrong. After lugging all that straw back, yeah. and running that distance. All right, then. Drink up. Oh, don't forget, you've still got them bales to bring in from the van, haven't oh, you? Oh, no. Now, all right, then, afterwards, afterwards. We'll have the drink first, eh? Now, then, I'm going to give you a toast. Operation Harriet. Mission accomplished. Operation Harriet. Harriet. That's the stuff. <laughs> Yeah, there were one or two moments when I thought we'd hate. I thought we'd Oh, wow, when you saw Mr. Fagan? Yeah.